Hey, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. So you're not going to actually see a lot of me today. What I wanted to do is a collection video and this has been kind of a long time coming. But it's not a complete Louis Vuitton collection. So all of these, with the exception of a couple honorable mentions, have the, I think it's called the De Feles Om tag inside, which means it's from the runway. So these are, so there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six items, six or seven, I'll see, that have the runway tag on them. And then there's two that don't, but they carry over the design from the runway. And then lastly, you might notice that I am also wearing a shirt from the runway collection. This is from the fall winter 2017. This is the mixed print silk pajama that I got in Paris just a few months ago. And I also had the t-shirt as well in the same exact design. So let's get to it. The first two items are what I call honorable mention. So this is the pochette voyage. This is the MM size and this is from the Chapman collection. This is the second collaboration with the Chapman brothers. This one has the line on it and then in the back it's just plain. And you can see the pattern is upside down because it's one continuous piece of coated canvas. Like I said earlier, these don't have the runway tag inside. All this one says is made in France. So it's going to be hard to see here, but there's the slot. These do come with the booklet where they say the spring summer 2017. I think I may have mistakenly said 2018 earlier, but this is the spring summer 2017 collection. So Jake and Dinos Chapman are the the brother illustrators who made this. This is also another honorable mention piece. This is the Pochette Voyage once again, but this is the GM version. And this is in that white monogram Savane with the, this is called the watercolor. And you can see just like on the blue one, the monogram has hatch or a line pattern, so they're not solid, which is something new, I believe, for Louis Vuitton. This is in the same season, collection, spring, summer, 2017. It's the same type of item or bag, or pochette, if you want to call it that, more properly. But this one is a GM size. It also has that credit card leather slot here. And this one had a booklet too, but I think I left it in the dust bag. Again, this one didn't have the runway tag on it, but it just says, I think this is also made in France. These are both of the honorable mentions. These are both from spring, summer 2017, the second Chapman Brother collaboration. If you've been following my channel, you probably have an idea of what the first few are. This is my latest runway acquisition. This is the small pouch from the spring summer 2018, so this year. And I had just gotten this, I think, a couple weeks ago. I do have a try on video as well as a detailed video of what fits inside of this already. This has the, the blue, the monogram Pacific, and then you have the regular brown traditional monogram. And then the back is the brown as well. There's some small leather bits and pieces to it. It's, it looks like the gray taiga, the glacier. So there's on the side here and then on the strap holder here. And then on the tag, which I will show you inside in a bit. It also has some red metal hardware. And I really love the shoulder strap. So it's blue on one side, the Pacific, and then brown on the other. And then of course the whole point of these bags, or at least in this video, is to show you the runway tag. Here is the tag that's on that gray kind of taiga leather, and it's the lettering is stamped in gold. This is from spring summer, so Priton Ete 2018. And that was a real plus for this. Honestly, if it didn't have the stamp, I'm not sure I would have went for this one. I might have just gone for some small leather goods. 
And I forgot to mention that I'm wearing the Louis Vuitton smartwatch. This is the Tambor Horizon, and I put the latest watch face on it. It's the, the, the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year 2018 with the dog, and you can change it to any of the 12 Lunar Zodiac as well. Next is this box. This is the last one that's in the new packaging. This is one of the smaller boxes. So again, if you've been following my channel for the past year, you should know what this is. This was one of the hardest items to get. So I was really lucky to be able to be offered it. And of course I purchased it. This is the Supreme. This is from the fall winter 2017, which is from the same collection as this silk pajama that I'm wearing. This is the Supreme collaboration. And this is the Epi Danube in the P, uh, PM size, I think this is. There were two sizes. This is the larger one. This is in red Epi leather. And then there's a few pieces that are just the flat leather. It has one front slot here and then a zippered compartment. I've used this a few times. I've still been pretty careful with it. I did get a couple of surface scratches on it, unfortunately. And some of the leather, with this studio lighting, it's gonna be hard to tell, but some of this leather, leather has a little bit of wrinkling on it already, especially at the top, just because of, to access it, you have to bend the leather. So I have the dust bag inside. This comes with one pocket inside. There's no zippered compartment. Since this is so small, it's gonna be really hard to show you, but I'm gonna do my best to show you the tag at least. I think you can kind of see that, the red tag with silver lettering. So this is the runway tag and the Autumn Hiver 2017, autumn winter 2017 or fall winter 2017. So there's that tag. And then the back, so it's the Supreme that wraps around, except it, it does actually continue. So this piece on the bottom is like a gap, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually crop off or cover the full word Supreme. It just continues on here. You can see the edge of the R there. And here is the next box I wanted to show you. It's like a medium sized box. And these are before they switched over to the new saffron or orange colored packaging. This is the premiere of their monogram eclipse. This was from fall winter 2016. This is the messenger voyager PM, I believe, or maybe MM. I keep, I know there's a larger one of these, which I did try on, but I ended up just keeping this. And I do have a video of trying on and comparing the larger and smaller sizes. This one I just really love the shape and the proportion and it works well for me. It can't carry a laptop unfortunately. I've used this quite a bit. I haven't really used this for traveling though and I usually when I when I store it I put the strap inside just to keep it neat but it does of course come with the shoulder strap since this is a messenger bag. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera, but I am one of those people who doesn't like removing the plastic protectors until I really have to. And these look fine. They haven't collected dirt or dust, so I'm just leaving them on until if they do start to peel, then, I'll, then I will remove them. So this has one slot pocket here as well as a zippered pocket. And I noticed that Louis Vuitton seems to be doing away with their D-rings inside of their bags. Of the ones that I showed you so far, none of them have the D-rings anymore. I kept the runway booklet here. You can see how it, it's showing you the season and it's different from the new ones which have the saffron colored books as well. And then it just tells you a little bit about the collection as well as the material tag I keep in here. I usually keep these in the bag just so I don't lose it because I never really stuff my bags to the brim, so I have space to put 
the original tags and sometimes even the dust bag in there. And I'm gonna do my best to show you the runway tag. It's right here. So you can kind of see it reflecting and this is the autumn winter 2016. It's in that matte black leather and then the stamping is in silver so you can see that there. This one I have not used whoops, at all which is why it's still in the dust bag. But this is definitely one of my favorite ones. This is from the same season as the Messenger Voyager. So this is from the same season as this bag that I just showed you, the Messenger Voyager, except this is canvas and the monogram eclipse. And this is the matte leather. I think it's the same material used here, but it has the silk screening of the monogram pattern. And because I haven't actually used this, I don't know how well the gloss finish wears. And that's another thing that I'm sort of afraid of the gloss finish getting scratched, so I haven't used it. But I've been, but I stuck the bags I don't use, so I make sure the leathers don't crease. Because if you don't, so if you're storing these bags, the tip is you, you definitely want to stuff them. I've had experiences with older bags that I didn't stuff, that I kept kind of just in the dust bag for a couple of years and then the corners will start to crease because the weight of the bag kind of sinks in on itself. Both sides look very similar except this you could say is the front side because it has Louis Vuitton Paris imprinted right here. It's pretty subtle. What I like about this is depending on the lighting it just looks like a black bag but then you get these catches of the monogram as you can see here, it's reflecting off of my studio lights. And then the bottom is plain, it's flat. And this one, it's, I would say it's structured because it will stand even with nothing on it. You can see how easily stand. Obviously, if you have something vertically and it's tilting one way, it's probably gonna make the bag lean over. This does come with a shoulder strap as well. It's nothing too special. It's just in the same black leather and it has a shoulder pad. The one thing I wish would be different are these straps because I really don't like these flat straps on my bags. That's one of my pet peeves when purchasing a bag is I really don't like these flat straps if it has a handle. But it, I guess they probably felt it went with the aesthetic but I really would have preferred these to be rolled somehow. And then I do need to show you the tag, of course. One other thing with these, some of, I think all of the new metal hardware, they don't let you lock it anymore, which is kind of odd. You can see here, there's not enough space to put a lock through them. I mean, I don't think a lot of people will use the lock, but still, I think it's just part of the heritage that it's nice to be able to do so. So I don't want to bend this too too much, so I'll see I'll see how well this is gonna work. But the tag is right here. And unlike the Messenger, the Messenger Voyager, this one is silk screen just like this, so it's in a gloss finish. So it needs to really catch the light in order to see it. So I really don't want to bend this bag too much, but this is from the same collection, so it's autumn, winter 2016. You can kind of catch a small glimpse of it there, and then the rest is stuffing. And you can see this is kind of an oil magnet. You can see I already got some of the oil from my hand on this. All right, so I just have a couple more pieces to show you. This box actually broke, but... This one I actually never, I never did a video of. I, I may have posted a picture on Instagram, I forget, but this is definitely one of my earliest uh, acquisitions since I started Instagram. I forget if I got it right when I joined or right before. This is like a portfolio 
there's no real handle. I mean, this is this is actually technically the handle, but you can see there's only one, and then it opens up. So it's a fold over. It's like a fold over portfolio, but it's unstructured. You can see the leather bends, and this is the Torion leather. This is inspired from their luggage. So especially if you went to their time capsule or the VVV exhibit, you would have seen a lot of these shapes made in leather on the side of their hard-sided luggages. This one does have the tag in here. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to show you because I don't want to bend this too, too much. It has one zippered compartment as well as one slot compartment. So it's right here and it's not printed, it's actually stamped on. And this is from the fall winter 2014. And then the final piece, I do have a video on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, but it was one of my earliest videos and I do have some pictures on Instagram as well. Again, it was like one of my first pictures on Instagram. This one I have not used. So this is still in the old dust bag and the old box, the brown ones. This one is super heavy. I still have the receipt in here. This one is kind of hard to un box a little bit because it's soft it's a soft piece but it comes with this huge drawstring dust bag and I noticed that Louis Vuitton doesn't seem to do the drawstrings anymore this is a really exceptional piece in my opinion This is an Epi New Buck. This is one of the first, first and I think only times they did it. I think they may have reintroduced it in another fall winter season. As you can see, it carries the same handle motif as the portfolio that I show you. So this is from the same season. This is the fall winter 2014. And this was my first runway piece. This is not my first Louis Vuitton piece, but this is my first runway piece, which features the tag inside. So this has the epi pattern, but it's in new buck, which is the, it's the other side of suede, or it's a, it's a different treatment of suede. I believe they actually sand the top part of leather to achieve this, and this new buck is more expensive than suede. This one, I think you can see a little bit better, the tag, since I can kind of fold it down here. So there is the tag, it's in the same treatment, it's just printed, it's uh, stamped on, not printed. So hopefully you can, hopefully you can see that. It says Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in Italy. The Defile, I think that's how you pronounce it, Ohm. And this is from the autumn, yeah, the, the fall winter 2014 collection. The bag inside just comes with a slot and a zipper. Actually, it has, two, it has three slots. It has one large slot here, two smaller slots in here, and then a zippered compartment. It comes with the handle as well, which I've, I've kind of wrapped in tissue paper, so I'm not gonna get it out on this video, but you can check it out in my detail that I did a while ago. The, this is the plie or plie which means fold because you can wear it a couple of ways. So you can kind of keep it, if I adjust the camera, you can use it as, you can use this as a tote bag. So if you unfold it, you can just carry it from the top handle like this, or it can fold over. So it can fold over like this, which you could kind of actually just hand carry from the bottom, kind of like a, a large clutch. I mean, this would be a pretty huge one. Or you can use this as a messenger bag, and that's what these rings here are for. So you attach the 
handles or the shoulder strap to this and you can wear it as a messenger bag. So these are all of the bags that are from the runway collection, meaning they have the runway tags inside of them. This is the most recent spring summer 2018. This is fall winter 2017. These two are fall winter 2016. And then those two are from fall winter, those two fall winter 2014. And then, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have a couple of honorable mentions, and these are from spring summer 2017. So, what's missing is the 2015. I don't have any items from that runway collection. I mean, these technically are not from the runway collection, but they carry over the design from them, which is extremely unique. So, you can really tell that these are from spring summer. Plus, these do include the booklet of the collaboration with both of these. And that's my video. Let me know if you want any more information on some of these and I'll let you know if I can provide it. I'll also be interested in knowing what is your favorite piece from all of this. And also if you yourself have gotten any of these runway pieces and what's been your favorite collection so far. I am going to be adding at least one this year that I've, if you follow me on Instagram, I've teased that I already placed a 100% deposit from the fall winter 2018 collection, which is Kim Jones' last runway collection for Louis Vuitton men's. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to see how well those items sell. But the item that I put a deposit on, it doesn't seem like they're going to be making extras of in terms of making them and then just selling them in store it might just be made to order only or they might just have a one or two like a few extras that probably would go would sell out right away because by that time people know it's kim jones's last collection and they'll probably want to scoop it up subscribe for more videos and check me out on instagram I've been mentioning a few times over this video because I do post content that I don't have videos of and I tend to show you what's going to be upcoming on my channel and things that I want to buy, things that I have purchased, I usually put it up on there first and then you kind of get a glimpse into events that I may go to and shopping trips, stuff like that. Thanks again for watching and I do hope to see you in my next video.